Hey everybody, it's Carpo again. You know, I think I had a caffeine withdrawal or something. I started drinking this organic tea, and then this morning I had this headache all day. I thought maybe it was a caffeine withdrawal, I guess we'll find out. But I wanted to do a continuation from my video yesterday when I talked about um, the possibility that the Earth could be in a binary star system where the Earth, the star, the Sun, and another star are in a binary system that over a period of time allows us to know certain things, right? As we periodically pass through this procession. Um, Now, I just found it interesting, I think, that the procession of the equinoxes, I think, if I'm not mistaken, it's 72,000 years. The, the, the Great Cycle. I think that's what it is. And 72 is that number that comes up all the time. It's, it's half a dozen times a dozen. It's 6 times 12. It's half of 144, which is the... Uh, number that the Jehovah's Witnesses believe are going to heaven, and also 72 is the amount of virgins that supposedly there are in heaven. If you think about the 72 virgins in heaven, and you think about the 72,000 year procession, and you start comparing it to the procession of the equinoxes, which is the passing of the different star signs, then you start to see that these are maybe Virgo in heaven, right? Maybe the virgins in heaven, I, you know, I don't know where that comes from. My whole idea is that beyond this idea that we have this knowledge that comes and goes every 72,000 years, right? Perhaps we have also the ability to see in different spectrums. And uh, I've always been fascinated by the fact that bees, bees see in, in ultraviolet. And uh, so when they go in for a flower, they can see the phosphorescence from the pollen on the on the flower. I mean, they don't they don't. It makes you wonder how much the color of a flower really matters at all. You know, often people will say, "Oh, well, bees are attracted to certain colors," but the most recent science shows that bees actually see in ultraviolet. So perhaps they see in both. You know, or perhaps they've converted to seeing ultraviolet, or perhaps they've gone from seeing ultraviolet to seeing color. Well, a little bit further up, we've got, uh, we've got, uh, electromagnetism, uh, the magnetic waves of the earth, which are a certain frequency, and those are even lower than light waves. Now, we see in this little part of the spectrum, and the spectrum's huge, and, and there are so many different frequencies. Um, all the way from from protozoans to like uh, nuclei from uh, atomic energy, you know, vibrating at an extremely high rate, ten to the sixth power, some crazy shit like that. I don't know how it works, but we have all the way down to human frequency, which is the vibration of the human body, which I believe is uh, seven point two hertz, something like that. And then we have or the Earth frequency, the Earth resonance frequency is seven point two hertz. Uh, I think maybe, yeah. Anyway, I'm not gonna try to get this to get the numbers right because I always fuck them up. But uh, so we have these frequencies of the Earth all the way up through the light, up into the uh, electromagnetic, uh, the the microwave spectrum, the ELF waves, or the uh, sorry, e uh, the high frequency waves, and radiation. So it's been speculated that maybe birds see in um, electromagnetic spectrum. Maybe birds see uh, um, see the magnetic waves of the earth. And uh, that's an interesting possibility. Uh, it's also been postulated that maybe the sea animals, like the whales, dolphins, the beach themselves, they see um, they see the electromagnetic they see the magnetic field of the earth and they follow the magnetic field and that possibly when there's a twist or a warp in the magnetic field due to a disturbance it causes them to beach themselves because they all as a group think that they're going the right direction um, you know this is becoming 
well, more widely accepted that animals see in different frequencies than we do. So my thought is that perhaps there's a time in history when we could see all these frequencies and we could opt to focus our energy on one frequency or another. I, I don't know. It's kind of a far-fetched idea, but if so, it would allow us to see the ley lines of the Earth very clearly, uh, see the magnetic lines, which supposedly are every 30 feet. Um, it's just an interesting thought. I don't know. Uh, you know, to know that animals actually don't see in color necessarily the way we do doesn't mean that they don't see as well as we do. I mean, we don't know. We can analyze the eyeball, but it doesn't mean that we can really even know whether another person sees the same way we do. But uh, the only way they've been able to react is by, you know, or to, to, to inspect it is by putting, spraying certain, you know, phosphorescent, uh, UV light, you know, putting it on leaves, seeing where bees go. I mean, you can't take a part of bees' eye, but... Anyway, some thoughts on that, so take care.